What is up everybody, and today we're going to bring you a game called There Came an Echo. It's a little bit of a different game, it's a voice controlled game, uh, which typically are terrible, but this one seems like it's pretty good. It seems like the voice controls actually work in it the way that they're supposed to. So I'm actually pretty excited to get into this. Uh, it's kind of a sci-fi, uh, real-time strategy shooter, kind of. like it, It's kind of like XCOM, but not turn-based, real-time. And you're just issuing voice commands to your characters to tell them what to do instead of like clicking like go here shoot at this guy you just tell them go here and shoot at that guy so we're gonna get right into this and see if the voice controls really do work as well as they seem to from the little bit of video that i checked out on it on twitch so i'm really excited uh this is also kind of uh like i found out about this because it was voiced by will wheaton like the main character is and, you know, Will Wheaton is everybody's favorite nemesis, so we'll see how he does in this as well. But, like, it looks like a pretty cool game, so I'm excited to get into this. So, a couple things of note, I have Push to Talk enabled since I'm doing a running commentary over the top of it. So you'll hear it, like, kind of, like, bleep into the, the Push to Talk mode when I issue commands. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just hit play and get into this. No data, we'll just start right here. never asked me to do anything like this. I'm running out of options, Val. I can't keep them at bay for long. He didn't do anything wrong. This is no longer a matter of ethics. I know. Remove him from the game. I'll take care of it. Ensure that you do. We gods do not play at dice. Right, very cool. I like that intro. A little bit of a James Bond vibe to it. All right, so here we are into the game. You should say yes, or affirmative, maybe. Okay, so here we go. This is how it's going to start off. We're going to push to talk and say affirmative. Anyone there? Affirmative. Okay, we're online. Oh, that seemed to work. I'll take care of primary communications with the field. You just provide the tactical support. That's the easy part. You lucked out. When you issue a command directly to a field unit, you say the name of the soldier and then the command. It's pretty simple. Try saying, Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Mmm, no. But good job, I guess. Anyway, I should probably tell you now. We have to help this guy. His name is Corin. We need a view of his office. It's to the south. Design's a little tacky. Go ahead and move the camera by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Okay. He doesn't have a receiver, so we're just gonna have to call him. Hope he picks up. You know, um, we're gonna have to do some on-the-job training. We're out of time. They're here. Let's dial a cell. Hello? Did you know that there are men coming for you? Yeah, you got the wrong number. Huh, I guess he doesn't like advice. 
<laughs> that ringtone, though, man. Hello? Corin, you should really listen. It's not a wrong number. Well, I don't want to buy anything, so... Corin Webb, 27 years old, employed at Ignite Defense in Santa Monica, California, developer of Radio Lock. You're in your office at the moment. There's a half-full coffee cup to your right and a pen holder with three pens in it. One of them is missing a cap. Who is this? Someone watching a screen on which four very unfriendly-looking men are heading up to your office. Jesus, what? What do they want with me? Radio Lock. It's an open-source algorithm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, sorry. I need to use complete sentences. They want you to break Radio Lock. It can't be broken. The problem with all locks, Corin, is that they were made to be opened. There isn't even any hardware that can run it. I, I, I can go with them. Explain they're why- They're not here to talk, Corin. And when they're done with you, they'll probably kill you. Not for fun, even though it might be fun. Why should I listen to you? How do I know you're not lying to me? You don't, Corin. But you have 50, no, 48, 47, uh, you have seconds before they show up at your door. Ugh, fine! Where do I go? My friend here is going to tell you what to do. Just listen and you'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, here are the would-be assailants. Right now, you need to get Corrin out of his office to a safe location. There's an empty office down the hall, number 623. To issue a movement command, you need to call Corrin's name, then the command move to, and then the location in question. Go for it. Okay, so this is very cool so far. Started off with kind of like a little Matrix vibe for Corin here, where he gets like a, a call from someone he doesn't know, trying to like direct him through offices. So this is very cool. Uh, let's see. Um, move to office six two three. Finally. The code to the door is one zero nine three two four. All right. Do I have to say that? No. It looks like he's just putting it in on his own. Well, Morpheus, what now? <laughs> Stay still, like the statues. That's funny. Jesus Christ, you're weird. So timing is important here. We have to stay out of sight. For time-critical situations, you can follow a command with on my mark. Then as soon as you say mark, they'll execute the action. When it's clear, get corn to the stairs in the northeast corner. Use the on my mark command along with the move. That's cool. That's pretty military. Okay, so... Move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Seriously? I'm a cryptographer, not a marine, you idiot. Mark. Go, buddy. No, Sam. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Hey. Hey, I got stop. seen. No. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try it without getting seen this time. Use the on my mark command along with the move. Move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Okay, we see Seriously? that. We got that loaded up now. We're going to wait for this guy to turn his back now. It. Mark. Okay, go. Good job. All right, we got it that time. Jesus! Oh, they didn't see me that time, though? Oh, you can say pause game if you need to take a break. Uh, I think we're good. Where are we going? Where are we going? Corin, get the hell out of my office! Not now, Darren. Get off the phone! You think your overrated code gives you some special access pass? Darren, I swear to God, not now. Oh, you gonna let him just stop. push you like that? Can I get Marshall or Todd in here? Mr. Webb has repeatedly shown disrespect for both my work environment and my personal affairs, and I think it's time to... Hey, listen up, you sweater vest uh, wearing jackass. Which way? Uh oh. Okay, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? I want to go right. Gonna need another decision here. Okay, uh, go left. I seem to be peeking a lot over here. I need to try to keep my voice down a little bit more, I think. Oh, where God am I going? Damn it, that son of a bitch! Yeah, that's sweater vest wearing motherfucker. Give me some Go right. Alright, just keep running, homie. Just keep running. You're almost somewhere. Where are we going? Where are we going? To that elevator? Yeah, get in the elevator. There we go. Good job. 
Yeah, well, I'll celebrate when I'm less oh. about to be kidnapped. Apparently that wasn't an elevator. If you need Corrin to suddenly stop moving, like the statues, just say hold position. What is her like the statues thing? Hold position. Hold position. Or not. Corrin, all you need to do is head down to the third level of the parking garage. From there, we can get you to- No. What? Look, no offense, but I have no idea who you are or why you called me. I'm going to the police. That's a bad idea, really. Just awful. Save it, lady. But thanks for the help. I think I would listen to her. She just kind of saved say? you from getting captured by those guys. I might listen to what she has to say. And that's why right there. Oh, that's a lot of guys with guns. Oh, and they shot me. I'm calling him back. Oh, yeah, call me back because I just got shot. With that ringtone. Damn it. Shut up and listen. There's a black sedan waiting for you on parking level three. Its rear passenger side door is open. Move! I don't think... I don't think I can. You can follow our orders this time, Corrin, or you can get yourself killed. Your call. Uh, you better get moving, homie. <sighs> okay, so that was a cool intro. I really like this intro. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. You're... you're welcome. I'm shot. I think I need a doctor. You're fine. That wasn't a bullet, that was pulsed energy direction. You were electrocuted pretty badly, but it was a glancing shot. It's actually really cool technology. They accelerate hydrogen ions to- I don't care. I care about where this car is going, who those people were, and who you are. You're going to tell me all of those things, or I'm going to dive roll out the door and into the nearest LAPD station at the next red light. Also, who's driving this thing? I am remotely, but I locked all the doors. It's Pardon my lack of Stockholm Syndrome, but if you think you can keep Corin, me... Corin, shut up. Listen to me. Your algorithm is helping to protect a very dangerous piece of data. Really dangerous. No, it isn't. I told you before, the hardware needed to run Radio Lock doesn't exist. Yes, it does, Corin. If the hardware exists... It does. If, then can't you, I don't know, blow it up or something? Even if we knew where it was, a system like that would have remote servers in place to mirror the data. We need to find the access terminal, and then you need to break radio lock. Okay, stop. There is a mathematical proof showing why radio lock is numerically impossible to break. It cannot be done. They aren't going to stop. And why, may I ask, are you so keen on springing to my aid? I... Can't say. Knowing any more could put you in danger. No need to pile on, I say. <laughs> so you'll help? Thank you, Square. I'm helping you, Square. And what's your name, by the way? I'm Val. Nice to meet you. And your partner? That's Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Okay, there we go. So what now? We're heading to LAX, then to Seattle. We have a safe house there, and there's someone in the area who might have some information. There's an earpiece in the bag on the passenger seat. It's yours. Happy... birthday. Put it on. Val's kind of awkward. Done. And is all this military code crap really necessary? I'm sorry, it's up to Sam. Sam, if you want to change commands, you can do that in the settings interface. Nah, I think we're good. Things just tend to go wrong at airports. I think we'll just keep the military jargon. Your flight leaves in 40 minutes. Gate 33A to Seattle. Alright. Malcolm Reynolds, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Reynolds. Corin Webb, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Webb. Thank you. This is for real, huh? I would think the shooting and the running and the yelling should have indicated- That was rhetorical, Val. Did I get an exit row? Nope. <sighs> and you're in the middle seat. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Corn, we've got incoming. Get to the men's bathroom now. Oh, you wait. Okay. What the bathroom? Everyone out of the terminal. Just go. 
There should be a duffel bag under the rightmost sink. There's a power pack and a gun in it. You've got to be kidding. How did they find you so quickly? Okay, so well, we went to the bathroom on our own. Um, what am I gonna do now? Oh, I already got the stuff on. to put his shields up. How the hell do I do that? Oh, uh, there's a little red button on the bottom of the gun. Shields up. Okay, very cool. All right, Sam, I've marked a note on the map. His glasses will let him know where it is. The shots won't bring down the shield, right? Your shield stay up until your energy runs out. A few pot shots won't do much. All right. Move to Alpha 1. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now what? Hmm, you have a gun and they're shooting at you. Sam, give him a hint. Open fire. It won't kill them, right? Not unless you're within a few feet. Just shoot. Oh, don't shoot at that guy. He's horrible at this. Tell him to switch targets. Right? Focus fire on number one. Nice. Yeah, I like this. I like the way that these are working. Focus fire on number two. Sam, one of the enemy soldiers is flanking foreign, making his cover useless. Issue a retreat command. Retreat. Jesus Christ! Corrin, we've got two shielded soldiers incoming. Your shields are stronger, so you should be okay. Should? And I'm running out of room here, Val. Yeah, um, working on that. Okay, what am I doing? Corrin, you can flank the enemy here and increase your accuracy. Move over to Alpha 3. Move to Alpha 3. Nice. Okay, he's already shooting at number 2. Kill him! Kill him! Warren, they've got a whole squad coming into the terminal. You need to move, now! But there's only- Now! There's nowhere to go, Val. Oh, what did I do? He went down the okay. I accidentally moved the mouse <laughs> to the edge of the screen. <laughs> nice! And knock what are him you out. waiting for? Pull the trigger, Corin. What? Corin, you have to. I can't. I can't kill someone. Well, at least wound him. Shoot! Right? At least I... shoot him in the leg. Damn it. Corin, get out of there. He didn't look very cool, but he probably still has friends. Oh, that's such a cheesy line. Come on, Val. Better than that. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of guys. I don't think I'm going through all these guys. There's too many of them. Can I run down here? Yeah, I gotta go like through this hallway, I think. Retreat. Nowhere I can go, Sam. Oh, yes, there is. You can go down this hallway. We don't know where it goes, Hold but. The fire. Oh, what is going on? What are they waiting for? I don't know. Corin Webb. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk. Corin, I know you don't want to kill anybody, but she is a really good person to kill right now. You've been shooting an awful lot for someone who just wants to talk. My men can get a little overzealous, I admit. I will open fire if you get any closer. Based on one of my subordinates' reports, I'm not terribly worried. This is in your best interest, trust me. Corin, don't! What do you want? We need to get out of here now. Excuse me? We've only got a few seconds. I told them I was negotiating. When they realized... Okay, I'm not buying the double agent line. Alistair! Front and center, soldier. Put your shields down, Lieutenant. Ma'am? Shields down. You said you were unarmed! I lied. You can come with me or be here when the smoke clears. Your call. Corn, you can't just- This way. Oh yeah, follow her. Let's go. There's no plane! We're jumping onto the tarmac. We're what? That's a 20-foot drop on the concrete! 17 feet. Roll when you hit the ground. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Just roll. You'll be fine. Don't worry about, like, breaking your ankle or anything. Oh, and we're getting shot while we lay on the ground. Oh, hurry on. Come on, lip along. They're right behind us. Corin, I highly advise you to separate yourself from this woman immediately. She's fine by me at the moment, Val. You better run, Junior. I will blow out the back of your skull before I let them get their hands on you, so move! 
I'm, I'm trying. On the chopper, move. This happens every time with you. Oh, those shields are pretty good, though. He's taking a lot of shots. Ready to go? Good to go, sweetie. Get us in the air. And don't call me that. So why didn't you kill me? Beg your pardon? You said you'd rather blow out the back of my skull than let them capture me. Seems like the easiest solution would be to just do that. The easiest, yeah. And the least lucrative. You only get half if you're dead. What, you're a mercenary? I hate that word. I'm a professional soldier. My task was to join ranks with Farrick, locate you, and then protect you at any cost. Well, <laughs> not any cost, just the amount I got paid. Farrick? Heather Farrick? The one who's trying to kidnap you? Your fairies must not be very well informed. I think they are, but they don't seem much for sharing. <laughs> Figures. So you're a code breaker, right? Code maker, actually. But I don't know how you or they found out about Radio Lock. I published it anonymously. Why anonymously? Wouldn't the recognition be good for your career? Someone, uh, convinced me otherwise. And besides, a quantum algorithm, which requires quantum computing. We were supposed to be decades off from that tech. My fairies say otherwise. Well, I don't know much about Farrick, but she isn't crazy. If she wants you that badly, it's real. So, if you were paid to protect me... I don't know who he is. He did the whole Charlie's Angels thing. I just know he's rich as God. Well, you know, if God existed. There's nothing besides protect me. Until when? Just protect me. When I see that many zeros in my bank account, Junior, I shut my mouth and do as I'm told. Speaking of which, debrief me on the attacks at Ignite Defense. Debrief? Oh, just say... Ugh, I'll do it. Give her the glasses, please. But wipe them off first, that's gross. <laughs> I like Val, man. She's kind of nutty. She is bizarre. And no. No? I'm not letting you run around aimlessly trying to hack into some terminal. You were hopeless back at LAX. You're gonna get yourself killed. We're going into hiding. Farrick has access to uncountable resources, and I can count very high. If we stand still, she'll find us. Probably. Then we stay on the run. We're two people. Uh, three. We don't have the manpower or intel to do any damage. I don't know why you're trying to help him, Val, but you're doing a thoroughly awful job so far. We can avoid their forces for a little while, mercenary, but they're not going to stop. Ever. Heather is... persistent. Yeah, she is. You have a weapons cache? We're heading there now. She gave me the coordinates earlier. By the way, I'm Adam. Nice it's fine. When we get there, though, Junior here is gonna go through some basic training. I'm not getting killed because he thinks basic field commands aren't trending on Twitter. They have Twitter in the future? We're landing in 70 minutes. Not that anyone's listening. Adam. Shut up. Val, how are you paying for all this? Uh, I don't remember. We should be safe here, though. Forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical. I promise. This area back here will be fine for what we need. Time to work. I do not like her, but go ahead, Corn. You should know the basics. Okay, time for some training, okay, Sam, it looks you're like. you to work with me on this one. This civilian has no idea what he's doing, and that's gonna change. Take off the full metal jacket, lady. I'm not an idiot. You didn't kill one of my soldiers when you had the chance, so yes, you're an idiot. Don't be mean. Whatever, pay attention. You need to memorize the first few letters of the phonetic alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. B, C, D, E all sound too similar on the battlefield. Sam, if you forget those, you can pull up a reference card if you need it. All right, Sam, get us both over to that node. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to need a reference because it says right there, Alpha 1. So, everyone move to Alpha 1. Right? Corn and Miranda move to Alpha 1.
Everyone move to Alpha 1. Hmm. Corrin, move to Alpha 1. No, Sam, try commanding both of us at the same time. Okay. Corrin and Miranda, move to Alpha 1. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it didn't work the last time, You'll but still it works hit now. You'll cover, Corrin, but much less often than normal. Cover is really important. You should stay in it when you can. Okay. You can also call out any number of soldiers' names, or use everyone but to order a specific group. Alright, weapon types. I don't know where the hell Val and Sam got these, but I've seen a few prototypes. These PDEs can change function. Yep, there are four different weapons you can take into battle. Each has a pistol base, but a cool alternate as well. The other weapons are useful, but they each cost a small amount of your total energy per shot. Be judicious. I like that word. Judicious. Sam, tell Miranda to switch to her charge gun. She can show Corin. Okay. Miranda, switch to charge. This is the charge gun. You can think of it a bit like a grenade launcher. It launches area of effect plasma at the enemy. You got the charge gun as well, so go ahead and switch. Okay... Sam, give Corrin a specific target to hit for maximum effect. Try and get Corrin to hit all three targets at once. Um... Corrin, focus on number two. Adequate, I guess. Hopefully you'll get more accurate with time. Alright, let's put you in a combat situation. Okay, let's do that. Alright, what happens if one of us goes down in combat? If it's you, Champagne. Champagne won't wake someone up, Adam. Adorable. It's not pleasant, but one of these battery packs has enough energy to jolt someone awake. Corin, lay down. Oh, come on. Shut up and do it. <sighs> okay, um, so... Miranda, revive Corin. Oh, that worked right away. Son of a... <laughs> that was fun. And finally, you can switch out your battery pack with a fresh one. Shoot Corin. Come on! Sam, tell Corin to recharge. Corin, recharge. Cool, I think that's everything. Let's take a little test. Hmm. Sam, we're taking your lead. Take your time and survey the battlefield before starting. Remember to try switching to your charge gun and flanking the enemy. Show him who's boss. Okay. It's... it's you, by the way. You're the boss. Let's do, uh... Miranda, move to Alpha 2. Oh, wait, no, maybe I have to move, uh... I have to begin wave first, I think. Alright. Begin wave. Okay. Miranda switch to charge. Copy. Focus on number two. Corin move to Alpha 7. Got it. Very cool. Miranda switch to pistol. Yeah. Very I cool. Am mildly impressed. Well, at least I'll have someone to draw fire. You were lovely. Thanks, Val. I think once we get like a full squad and we're just doing this all on our own, I think this is going to be really, really cool. I'm really liking this so far. What are you doing? Working on radio lock. Did you crack it yet? You know you're probably going to die if you can't crack it, right? What is wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not good with people. Yeah, I could tell. No, I haven't cracked it. And I can't explore any hardware solutions because I don't have the hardware. This is impossible. So was Shannon's Law, remember? They got around that. Val, I just want to go home. I'm sorry, Corin. Not yet. Just... Leave me alone for a while. Yeah. Corin, Miranda, I have some information. Must be an unfamiliar feeling. Miranda, shut up. Ooh, some backbone. It must be rubbing off. 
Farrick sort of vanished a while back, but she was mentioned in a local police report four months ago. The report was classified. I'm still trying to get a name on the residence. Her name is Grace Williams. She's 19 years old. What? I didn't know she was in Seattle. A few of the men were talking about her. That girl was trying to track Farrick down. She might know something. Why didn't they just kill her? I don't know, but they haven't. I've got a latitude and longitude. Oh, and an address, but that's not as cool. Let's go say hi. Should I come? No. And Corin, you hang back too. If there's any encryption on her machines, you won't know what to do with it. It'll be fun. Just stay close. Okay, looks like we're going to go on our first real mission now. See how this goes for us. Okay. Hey Sam, this is where you can switch weapons and accessories for each squad member. It's pretty simple. Just drag the weapon or accessory you want into an open slot. The pistol's locked in, though. They need that. For now, we're just going to stick with the charge gun. We'll get to the other weapons a bit later. Alright, so before we go and head out on our first real actual mission, I think I'm going to call it an episode right there, guys. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this game. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, I do plan on doing a full playthrough of this, so I hope to see you guys in the next one.